it started recording okay yeah, yeah. Uh, so <coughs> hi nikesh and uh, friends your friends so how are you doing today fine fine okay uh, so nikesh uh, today uh, what we are going to learn is something about robotics and like how we can build robots on our own and little bit of uh, programming as well so before okay. starting the session i would like to know means like what do you understand by robotics and uh, uh, what do you know about robotics uh robotics robotics is kind of something that helps you automate something or um help you do something in some way uh nice uh, the answer that you gave is uh, definitely perfect and so have you come across any robots till now means like uh, have you seen any robots in your home or maybe uh, in your school or anywhere have you come across any robots mm. yes we have one in our home uh, the cleaning robot it uh, like helps us clean the floors oh nice uh, that's uh, quite good so you are already acquainted with uh, some robots at your home that is uh, very nice so yeah so when you saw that cleaning robot did ever did it came to your mind that you would also like to build something like that of your own means like uh, if you get a chance or if someone can guide yes. you on okay yes. okay so uh, today's session is about that only means like how you can build uh, something of your own so when you saw that cleaning robot uh, the one of the important thing uh, can you tell me what is was the most important thing that you think uh, that robot has which helps the robot to move it has sensors and wheels the wheels help it move and the sensors help it sensors and the bumper help it not collide into stuff okay nice so that's a quite a good observation so as you told about the sensors and the wheels so yeah so those are the most basic building blocks of a robot so wheels being the most important part of a robot because any robot that moves uh, should have some uh, wheels to move and now what helps the wheel to move is the motors that is connected to the robot yes so today what we are going to see is like how can we uh, program this motor how can we make the motor to run according to our wish because okay. this motor as you know right uh, if you see yes. motors or if you had played with some toys you must have known right that some yeah. of the motors rotate in clockwise sometimes it rotates in anti clockwise so how can we write a program that can help motor to rotate in clockwise and anti clockwise direction how can we write some programs like that so today we'll learn about that that so i will share my screen now and we'll okay. quickly walk you through uh, some of the presentations and okay. in between we'll also explain you about uh, the different uh, blocks in a uh, robots so okay let me share my screen okay yes i can see the screen yeah so you can see the screen right so now in the screen what comes uh, here is the building blocks of robotics so by building blocks of robotics what i mean means like what all components we need to build a, a robot a toy robot here obviously means like we are not going to be, build a full fledged robot some kind of a models we will build just the block yes. so here we will need a dc motor and then we will uh, learn about how to program this dc motor using arduino so this is what we are going to learn today uh, okay going so now you see here means like we have a slide called a dc motor so different kind yes. of a motor is shown here so this is one kind of a motor this is another kind and this is one motor which may also be available in your kit so can you means like take out this motor from your kit so that we can identify yes. the motor you have yes so let me just adjust the camera yeah mm. okay. two minutes I'll adjust my camera and then show. Yeah. Here is my kit. It's open. Uh, the there is no motor in the kit. Uh, no, no problem. I will uh, uh, have you one motor uh, soon. Just a moment. Yeah. 
Yes, I got the motor. Yeah. So, uh, so this is the motor that you would have got, the yellow one that is being shown here. So, this is another grade DC motor. Okay. So why grade DC motor is because this motor that you see in the picture here, this is just yes. a normal motor. But in this motor, the yellow box that you type of thing that you see here. Yes. We have a few gears. Okay. That's why this is called a gear DC motor. So now what uh, we'll try to do is that we'll try to uh, run this uh, means drive this. Motor. But for that we'll go uh, come back a little later. And now you must have seen one uh, breadboard in your uh, yeah box. yeah. This so this is, is the board. So the breadboard that you have it consists of uh, this kind of a breadboard. Let me show you just a moment. So, this kind of a video you have. You can okay. Kind of yeah so this is the kind of a breadboard that you have so okay. here the lines that you see here yes i'm pointing my uh yeah pointer. i can see the cursor yeah so these are connected together okay so if i ask you to connect anything to this point yes so it means you can connect anything from any of this point that will be connected so internally okay. these points are connected to each other okay Internally, this line is connected to each other so all lines are connected to each other Yes. All the points on a single line are connected to each other. Okay. So now let me.
So we were in the breadboard scene. Now we'll see how to run a motor in clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction. So for this, what you will have to do is that uh, you can see one Arduino board also in your kit. So the Arduino board will look like this. Yes, I see it. Just a moment. Okay. So just a moment. Okay. So now what you will do in the Arduino board, you see, you will have a uh, you will have something called as a five volt and ground written there, G and D, five volt and ground written somewhere here. Um. Wait. Let me see. Yeah. Um. Where will it be written? Uh, it will be written uh, somewhere here. I'll show you. So this point, somewhere near this. Uh, GND is written. GND and 5 volt is also written, right? Yeah, 5 volt. Okay. Uh, above that is 3.3 volt. 3.3, uh, yeah. Uh, don't uh, use 3.3. Uh, okay. 5 volt and ground will use. So, okay. So now what you do is that. In, in your motor, two pins are there. Yes. Okay. One pin you connect to 5 volt and one pin you connect to ground, G and D. Okay. Okay. Yes, it, I, I connected it. Now, now you take uh, this kind of a USB wire you will have. USB yeah. cable. Okay. This one connect to Arduino board. Yes. And uh, connect to your computer, your uh, laptop. Yeah, so on the, yeah. The other side means you'll have the USB slot in your yeah, I'm looking for it. Yeah. Yes, the motor is running. The motor is running, right? Yes. So, so this is how the motor will run in one direction. Now you do one thing. The five yeah. volt I mean the wire that you connected to five volt now. You swap yes. that wire, connect that to ground, and the ground wire you connect to five volt. Okay, I'll do that. Yes, I connected. Now also the motor is running? Yeah, and it's going in the other direction. Exactly. So this is what I wanted to show you. Means like just by reversing the polarity of the motor, we can yes. make the motor run in clockwise and counterclockwise direction. Okay. So, so what does it mean is that if we give a uh, um, positive to one terminal of the motor and the ground to another terminal, it may go in clockwise direction. And yes. if we reverse the polarity, it will go in counterclockwise direction. Yes. But as you can see here, means like yes. suppose suppose your uh, uh, this cleaning robot is there. Now suppose the cleaning robot it senses some obstacles and then it has to go back. Yes. So so what does it mean is that it has it to, reverse, to reverse. The motor, reverse the motor. Yes. Now in order to reverse the motor, now we had to physically disconnect the wire and then reconnect it in a positive way. In code, we can swap it like that. Yeah. So uh, we need to now swap this thing using code. Instead of okay. physical disconnection, we have to okay. swap it using the code. 
So now we'll see how we can do that using Arduino. Okay. So now you can disconnect the motor from the Arduino board. Arduino board, you can keep it connected with the laptop, not a problem. Okay. And just disconnect the motor from the Arduino board. Okay. Okay. So. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, so now uh, we will do a simple program to turn on LED. Okay. So, so we'll first see in Arduino how we program to yes. do an Arduino. So you open your Arduino IDE. Yes. I will also share my whole screen now. Yes. Uh, it's showing updates are available for some boards and library. Uh, no need to worry about that. You can just cancel okay. it. Yeah. Let me turn on the Arduino. Okay. Now uh, in your Arduino, you can go to file. Yes. New. Okay. Okay, and then you can go to again go to file examples. File examples, yes. Yeah, basics. Mm -hmm. And go to blink. Blink, yes. Yeah. So this yeah, will open new. up. Yeah. So this will open up yeah. one program which is already written. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now what you can do is that you can go to your tools. Yes. And in your tools, you can see uh, this thing. Uh, just a moment. One second. So in so Arduino Uno would be selected for you. Yes. Tools Arduino Uno will be selected for you, and in the port. Com yeah. three, com three. Yeah. So what did it mean is that your Arduino is connected to uh, com three port. So there is some okay. serial port in the computer. So that is called com three. In my case, it is com four. So in different different system, it will be different different com ports. Okay. Yeah. So now what you can do is that you can uh, keep that thing selected and you can <clears throat> go for upload this button and you can click on this. Wait. Okay, that uh, yeah, the arrow button. Yeah, arrow button exactly. I click on it. Yeah, yeah. it's there's one green progress bar. Correct, and compiling okay. sketch will be coming. Yes. Okay, so wait for it and uploading. So what is uploading means? Just a moment. It's written uh, done uploading. Yeah. So now when it, it's done uploading, you must be seeing that one LED on the Arduino board has started yes. blinking. Yes. Let me okay. show it here. Just yeah, show me. Uh, two minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. I can see. I can see. Yeah. So as you can see, the one LED has started blinking. Yes. So now if you go back to the code. Yes. And what you can see here is that we have something written as pin mode LED built-in output. Yes. Okay. So each pin in Arduino means some pins in Arduino can be yes. defined output pin and input pin yes so, so these are called as uh, gpio pins so that is the full okay. form is general purpose input output yes so output means something uh, means like output means like uh, something uh, which we can control so your motor or your led here in this case is an output device yes so this way can you tell me in your computer you have a moni monitor or a display so the display is an input device or output device? Output device. Very good. And your keyboard is an input device or output device? Input. Correct. So what does it mean is that something from which the signal goes into the computer, that is an input device, and yes. something from which the signal comes out, that is an output device. So that's why we have defined one pin as an output pin. So here LED built in, so that is connected to pin number 13 of Arduino board. 
so that okay. is internally connected we will not have to worry about that now you can quickly play with something so here delete house so here if you see one setup is there in which we are defining the output code yes and then in the loop inside loop we are defining something called as digital write led built in high and then we are giving a delay of 1000 again we are giving digital write led built in low and we are giving delay so of 1000 is milliseconds 1000 is millisecond exactly so this 1000 millisecond means 1 second so we are waiting for 1 second when we are sending high and low to the led so when yes. we will send high to the led the led will glow and then it will yes. wait for 1 second again we will give low to that pin so led yes. will turn for 1 second and this loop will keep on going yes. forever now what you can do is that you can change this delay to 500 okay change this delay to 500 and then of your and then again you do upload from the same button in both you have to change okay both have to change to 500 two minutes yeah yeah you can play around so first change both to 500 and then see what happens if it will ask to save your sketch then save your sketch with another name not a problem okay. Okay. And upload. It's blinking faster now. Yeah, this is blinking faster. Why it is blinking faster? Can you tell me? Because it is waiting for less time to change the state of the LED. Yes from high to low yeah exactly so now you have means like uh, understood uh, learned uh, yes. two things today one is like how to means like connect your arduino board and how to means like write a program so in our arduino yes. program if you'll see so you have uh, just a moment so in arduino program you have two important things one is the setup code and one is the loop so in the setup yes. we define how the pins will be whether the pin will be output pin or input pin yes and in the loop we define something that can that will keep running forever okay okay so that is how we do so this part so up to this is good now we will learn little bit about the motor and the motor driver so as you uh, saw right now, means like we were, yes. we are able to uh, turn on and off this LED directly. Yes. We are able to turn on and off this LED without using any extra IC or anything like that. Okay. Okay. This is because LED is a very small device. Arduino will be able to run it. Yes. Okay. But now the motor that we have, motor is a slightly bulky device. Slightly bulky yes. device. So I will give you a simple example in that way. Yeah. So how it is like, let's say you are going to a supermarket and yes. uh, let's say along with you, one small kid is there. Yes. Okay. And uh, in a, in the trolley, you have loaded too many stuffs as you can see in the yes. picture. There. Okay. And you, and that kid is moving that trolley. Will the yes. kid be able to move that tro trolley easily? No, it will be very no. hard. It will be very hard. So after some time, the kid will get exhausted. Yes. Though the kid knows, like he has to uh, bring that uh, trolley to the cash counter, but by the time he will reach cash counter, he will be exhausted. He may be thirsty. He may need water and all. Yes. So instead, what he can do is that he can tell his uh, father. Yes. To to uh, get the trolley to the cash counter, and he can just guide the direction. He can just tell. Yes. That where the trolley has to be taken. So that becomes easier for him. Yes. Right. So here also in this case, we can think in this way that the, the Arduino board is the small child, the laptop yes. is the father, and the no. motor is the troll. No, no. Here one you are partly correct. So the Arduino is the child. That is very correctly that you said. Yes. The laptop has no role to play as of now. Okay. Why? Because once you have uploaded the code to the Arduino, after that laptop is just only giving power to Arduino. It okay. is not giving any command to Arduino. Okay. So uh, in your uh, breadboard, you see one small IC is there. Yes. So that IC is taking role of the father here. So that oh. IC will drive the motor, whereas uh, the Arduino will just tell that uh, 
uh, you have to run this motor in a clockwise or counter clockwise direction yes okay so now we will learn little bit about the driver so now you okay. know why we use a motor driver yes okay so just a moment here it is saying that only five minutes left in the meeting so i'll just see if i can increase that i think uh, that will be fine i can go ahead yeah so now here is the pin diagram for the l293d motor driver so the ic that is there in your breadboard yes okay, the name of that ic is l293d and the general name is motor driver yeah it's written over there l293d yeah. okay and now in order to uh, just a moment so now i'll uh, tell you how to means like in a ic the important thing is like we, we should know which pin number how to count okay. the pin number in an okay. ic okay so in your ic can you see one small dot yeah okay so very small. yeah so if you can see here there is one small dot will be there yeah okay so from that dot we count pin number 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 yes. 6 7 8 and then 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 yes. so from 1 to 16 we have a pin so similarly it is shown here in the diagram so if this is pin number 1 so 1 so here notch will be there at this place one notch will be there yes. so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 yes yes okay now we will quickly do some wiring means like how to means like connect this motor driver with motor and arduino with these wires yeah exactly using those wires so you must have some wires where both so i will also tell you one more thing about the wires so these some are wires are, there are some wires which have uh, bo uh, both side holes and some wires which has one side hole one side no hole exactly so the wires uh, as you can see in my uh, video here the wires which has the pins coming out yes those are called as male wires means male male pin okay and the wires which has the hole means the, uh, no pin is coming out but a hole is there yes okay so these are called as female pins female pins okay okay so in in this particular uh, project we will be mostly using male to male pins means the wires which are both the side as male pins okay okay so we'll be using that so now you can take uh, some of those wires you can keep it there yeah. and you can make connection as it is as i'll tell you okay so before doing that i'll tell you one more thing so here you see enable one input one output one yes. gnd gnd, GND, GND. output yeah. so what you have to do is that whichever is gnd gnd right yes so that you can connect in the breadboard itself you can connect the, so you can connect pin number 4 and 5 with a wire so oh, pin 4 and 5 you can connect with a wire so you can connect like this so i show you 1 2 okay. 3 so let me so pin number so this is like you are, you, are, you are able to see my video right i cannot see the board you cannot see the board just a moment can you see the board now yes yes no no i now i can see no you can see the board now right no 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 you need to keep it on the table okay now you can see yeah now i can see okay so this is pin number 1 2 yes sorry 1 2 3 4 so in the 4 yes. i have connected this and in yes. the pin 5 i have connected this so like pin 5 is connect. the other end of the wire yeah yeah exactly so pin so one loop will be made here between okay. pin 4 and pin 5 so you can connect like this yes go connected like this okay now no, you do one no i think i connected the wrong pins yeah yeah just reconnect it you can take out and reconnect yes now 4 and 5 4 and 5 is connected right yes. now you do one thing pin number 1 is enable written right yes so you take one wire from this enable pin yes and you uh, you can keep it hanging the other end you can just connect one wire and keep it hanging the other end okay 
Yes. Okay. Similarly, what you can do is that uh, pin number eight, the last pin. Yeah, VS. Yeah. So this last pin you can connect here, and you can connect that pin to the pin number sixteen. VSS. Yeah, VS and VSS. These two you can connect. Okay. Together. Okay. So that is connected. Now yes. you do one thing. Again, take one more wire and connect from this pin number eight again. Uh, two minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I got some more wires. So, so how will we connect two pins to same place? Yeah, that's what in a breadboard I told you. All these lines are connected oh. together, right? So you can connect yes. to any of these lines. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Connected. Connect One side to pin number eight. Yeah. Correct. And the other side, uh, leave it open. Okay. And the other side, the other side which uh, is there with the pin number eight, that you connect yeah. to five volt of Arduino. <laughs> the that other side of the pin 8 other side of the pin number 8 i need to connect to 5 volt yeah 5 volt mm -hmm. let me know once you are connected yes two minutes yeah. mm -hmm. yes i connected connected Take uh, in the pin number four and five, you connected, right? One wire. Yeah. From there, you take one more wire, just like you have taken from pin number eight. Okay, from pin number four or five? Any, any. You either take from pin number four or take from pin number five. Any one you can take. Okay. Yes. And connect it, connect it to the GND of Arduino. Connect it to GND of Arduino. Okay, GND of Arduino. Okay, done. Now you do one thing. Uh, yes. Just a moment. uh pin number 3 uh, uh, in, in your motor two wires are there no yeah connect one wire to pin number 3 yes and the other wire you connect to pin number 6 pin number 6 okay so pin one number pin... yeah yes one now the motor is running yeah uh, you connect to motor is running yeah uh, just a moment so have you connected uh, uh, just see if you are connected to pin number 3 yeah it's pin number 3 and pin number 6 right yes okay just a moment let me see So your motor is running now. Yes. Uh, just recheck the connection once. Pin number four and five you have connected, and yes. that you connected to ground, right? G and D. Uh, wait. I've uh, connected pin number four and five, and five is connected to G and D. Yes. Yeah, that is correct. And pin number eight is connected to uh, five volt. Uh. Where yeah, I go, I understood what is wrong. I connected it to pin number eight instead of six. Ha, ah, okay. So connected to pin number six. Yeah. Yes, it's in pin. Now it's not running. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Now you take one wire and connect it yes. to pin number two. Pin number two. Okay. And. That the other end of that wire, you connect to pin number three of Arduino. Pin number three in Arduino. Yeah, it's written pin number three. Yeah, connected to pin number three. Now you take one more wire. Um. Okay, I'll get more wires. Yes. Ah, just one. Ha. No need to do. Yeah. I I got Take more wire. Yeah, connected to pin number uh, five. Well, okay, pin number five. No, 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 not five. Pin number seven. Connected to pin number seven. Okay. And the other end, you connect to pin number four of Arduino. Four of Arduino. Okay. Yes, connected. Connected, and 
this pin number 1 1 wire was there no yes that one you connect to pin number 2 of arduino that one you connect to pin number 2 of arduino yes done okay yes motor so, is not running yeah yeah not running i will uh, now we'll write a program for that so quickly we'll check one more time so pin number 1 is going to pin number 3 of arduino sorry pin, pin number 2 yeah pin number correct two, pin number 2 yes. of arduino yes pin number 2 is going to uh, your uh, pin number 3 of arduino correct and pin number 3 is going to your motor 3 is going to motor. yeah 3 one wire of motor is in 3 other wire is in 6 uh, 6 uh, correct and then uh, your pin number 7 of ic is going to pin number 4 of arduino what pin number 7 of uh, ic that is l293d is going to pin number 4 of arduino right l29 wait i didn't understand can you repeat yeah yeah pin just see pin number 7 of your ic this ic pin number 7 where it is going so this ic pin number 7 where it is going pin number 7 is going to pin number 4 of arduino yeah correct okay so we are done with the connection now yes. so now so now we will quickly write a program so okay i will open up my uh, you are able to see my screen right yes uh no one second let me okay now you uh again go to the file and yes. do do new okay file new and maximize it okay and here now we will quickly define our pins okay okay so for that what we'll do is that you can copy this thing from your blink code okay paste it here 2 minutes yeah. uh, in the setup code right i have to paste yeah, setup, yeah. or you can just uh, see my screen what i am writing pin mode bull led bulletin yeah so you can write no no uh, you can just no need to copy paste from there you can just write what is there pin mode to comma output pin mode pin uh, wait let me see what i have to write yeah. pin mode 2 is output yeah 2 3 and 4 will be output exactly all all three pins will be output let me finish writing yes i put all the pins yeah all the pins you have so so this means that all the pins are now output pin okay okay and now we'll do some setting so now in the loop what we'll try to do is that we'll try to run this motor in forward and reverse direction okay so in the loop what we'll do is that we will so digital write will write high and low to the pin okay so we'll do digital write okay and pin number 2 will write high okay we'll follow the same thing for all these three pins Okay. Digital high. In number two will be high. High. In number three also high. And pin okay. number four you can give low. Pin number four you can give low. 
Okay. Three is also high. Yes, I put no. It the pin number four will be low, right? Yeah, pin number four will be low. Okay. Okay. Now what you do? You do save your program. So you can go do Control S. Okay. Control and, S. Yeah. And whatever name you want to give, you give. Otherwise, you can save it with a default name. Okay. I'll save it default. Yeah. And now, now you can upload? now you can try to upload your program. Okay, upload. Yeah. Yes, the motor is spinning. The it motor is spinning. right. Now what you do in your program, just change yes. this three to low, and yes. four you move it high. Okay. Okay, and then you again upload your program. Now it is going counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. So what you saw that just by changing the state of the pin, low and high, the motor yes. is moving clockwise and counterclockwise. So now yes. quickly what we'll do is that we'll try to run this motor sometime in a clockwise and sometime in a counterclockwise. So yes. we'll add a delay of uh, two second here, so two thousand. Uh, wait. Uh, okay. And we'll copy this thing and paste it after delay. 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 Two thousand. Okay, we copy the thing on top and then change it to the change three and four. Correct. Control C. Control V. Hello. Yes. Done. Now again try to now again upload your program. Okay. It is spinning counterclockwise. And after two seconds, just observe after two seconds what happens. It's still it's spinning it's counterclockwise. It's not it's going. Not, it's not changing the speed. No. Means it's not changing the direction. No. Uh, can you see in your code? Uh, have you changed the digital right? The three is low and high, and after delay, it should be high and low. Yes. So, can, so have you changed that? Yes. Okay. I uh, think what we need is after the uh, de delay, we need. Oh, I forgot one more delay. Two thousand at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please give that delay also. Delay two thousand. And upload. Now it is spinning counterclockwise. After after two seconds, change direction. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, what we wanted to achieve today in today's session. So now you know how to means like change the direction of the motor programmatically. Yes. So here you you are not required to change the wiring, right? Just yes. by changing something in the code, you are able to control it. Yes. So in actual, like I am giving the example. In terms of your uh, cleaning robot, so in a cleaning robot, what happens is that whenever it sees a sensor, whenever yes. a sensor sees that some obstacle is there, it yes. changes the direction. So that time, this logic comes in picture. Yes. So in the case, I means like for today, this was uh, the whole session for today, where we have okay. learned how to interface a motor with Arduino and how to change its direction. Okay. Okay. So can you uh, tell me, means like what? Uh, how was this? How did you like this this session? Whether means like this. Nice. Was it was interesting. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, I did also I... got my first Arduino program today. Yeah. So that is nice.
so if you have any questions you can ask me now no no questions uh, okay so if you don't have questions i'll ask some questions so suppose let's say means like uh, uh, in your program you must have seen uh, though we are changing only uh, low and high for pin number 3 and 4 where yes. pin number 2 is always remaining high yes okay yes so, so why what is the purpose of this pin number 2 can you tell me what is the purpose of this this to provide two? power to the motor exactly so uh, it's not to provide power to the motor but in your ic uh, you must have seen one pin number 1 is a, is called a enable pin it needs to enable to pin uh, pin to work exactly so to if enable give, the board to work exactly so if we give low to that pin whatever we give to pin number 3 and 4 it will not work the motor will not rotate because so the, the uh, brick board will not uh, uh, will not be enabled exactly so we can make use of this pin for some speed control and other things so which we'll we we'll okay. learn in the next session so today we learned only about how to control the motor in forward and reverse direction in the next session we'll okay. also learn about how to control the speed of the motor right okay. now the speed of the motor is constant we'll also learn yes. how to uh, make it slow speed and go fast speed okay so yes. so this is all about today's session and yes. uh, yeah good so I think you must have enjoyed this session, and yes. you would have learned something new on this. Yes. And uh, were you acquainted with the Arduino board earlier? Did you know about this Arduino board? Uh, yes. Okay, so that's nice to hear. So this Arduino board is very popular to create stuff, robots and yes. all. Okay. So yeah. So just a quick recap. So this Arduino board is very useful board for. doing any kind of a robotics and also okay. we learn a lot of programming stuff with this and earlier this arduino board were used only for some educational purposes but now this arduino board is also being used in industry also okay so, so the things that you have learned today will be quite useful even means like uh, uh, in lot of competitions that is going to happen uh, because the next generation uh, most of the work will be done using robots so now you see yes. your cleaning robot in the home next means yes. like a lot of different kind of robots will come into picture maybe a self driving car all all these things will come into picture yes. yes though they will use a bigger motors and uh, some different boards but the concept will remain same like how to yes. drive the motor how to do this thing and one more thing so do you know means like we have used high and low here so what is yes. the meaning of high and low means like in terms of uh, this programming What is high? High means it will give uh, higher power, uh, more uh, power uh, voltage to the uh, pin, and it uh, low means it will give low voltage to the pin. Exactly. So what you are say, saying is um, very very correct. So to be more apt, I will explain you. So high is something like in our context it is five volt. It will give five volt to the pin, and low will give zero volt to the pin. Okay. Okay. So uh, we are able to control using five volt and zero volt. We are able to control the various yes. devices. so more things will come to know in the later part of the session but today's session was good so yeah thank you okay